Microbiology Lab Safety Orientation. After completing this video, you should be able to 1. Demonstrate proper primary and secondary containment procedures, and 2. Explain the procedures involved in dealing with a laboratory emergency. Primary Containment Primary containment concerns the protection of personnel and the laboratory environment from exposure to infectious microbes. Proper microbiological techniques, such as the safe transport and disposal of cultures, along with the correct use of personal safety equipment, such as gloves and safety goggles, go a long way toward accomplishing the goal of primary containment. Secondary Containment Secondary containment deals with protecting the outside environment from exposure to infectious organisms. It depends principally on the design of the laboratory and the availability of equipment. As well, laboratory workers should maintain the lab's safety features, such as keeping a closed door closed or leaving an exhaust fan on. Prior to the lab Dress appropriately for the lab. No open-toed shoes or sandals and avoid clothing with baggy sleeves that could catch fire or hinder your movement. Know the location of the eyewash, safety shower, fire extinguisher, and first aid kit. Take a moment to learn their operation. During the lab Always wear a lab coat, gloves, and safety goggles while working in the lab. The lab coat should only be used during lab and should remain in the lab. Even discounting potential biohazards, a lab coat will protect your clothing. There is a reason many of the chemicals you will be working with are called stains. Wash your hands prior to beginning the lab and just before leaving as well. Tie back any long hair. It is both a source of contamination and a fire hazard. Disinfect your bench top with a disinfectant prior to beginning work and just before leaving the laboratory. Disposal of Contaminated Materials Dispose of plastic petri dishes, swabs, disposable gloves, inoculating tools, and similar non-reusable items in the biohazard container. Reusable supplies, such as culture test tubes and glass pipettes, should have all labels removed before being placed in a rack or container designated for autoclaving. Used microscope slides should be placed in a container for autoclaving or soaked in a disinfectant solution for a minimum of 30 minutes before being discarded. The international biohazard symbol on the containers not only marks the contents for autoclaving prior to disposal, but also cautions anyone in the room as to the possibly hazardous nature of the items inside the containers. And remember, do not overfill the container and never force objects into the container. Safety Considerations If you are pregnant or if you feel you shouldn't be in the lab because of health concerns, candidly discuss with your instructor. If your skin is exposed to microorganisms as a result of a spill, immediately wash with antiseptic. In the event of a spill, notify your instructor and your lab partners immediately. Broken glass and bacterial cultures are a hazardous combination. With your instructor's approval, cover the spill with paper towels and saturate the towels with disinfectant. After 15 to 20 minutes, carefully wipe up the spill and discard the paper towels in the biohazard container for autoclaving. Discard the broken glass in the sharps container. 